um, this may may sound really odd, but I think this is probably true with a lot of funeral directors. Maybe, you know, it used to be that years ago, I when I first started out, embalming was not really. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh God, I just, you know, I just, it was new to me. I didn't always feel real comfortable. Sometimes going to the preparation room and that area where you dress somebody or something um, or embalm, whatever, um, is sometimes the most comforting place to be in the funeral home. And really? Yeah. And I think it's because, you know, yes, the phone rings, but it's very peaceful. It's quiet. Nobody's talking uh, back yeah no, you don't, that no, doesn't happen no, no. <laughs> okay good um and nobody's talking back to you i mean if you ever saw the tv show six foot under the first two years did you ever watch six? i saw a few episodes the first two years were the best and they really did follow it really well and there's one scene that i can think of that one of the episodes where a young man is a gang member and he's, he's shot to death or something and and the embalmer is embalming him. You can see this body on this table, but then the deceased is sitting on the counter talking to him and there's a suit hanging there. And he goes, I don't know why they brought that suit in for me. I never wear suits. And it's, and it is kind of strange because the longer you live in a community, um, you know, there's people that have passed that, you know, I'll go back and we'll start to dress or whatever. And I know, you know, I'll tell this, the staff, oh, you know, they were so funny, and I remember them, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, and you tell these stories. And I think that's probably my way of grieving in a way, too, of yeah. letting those stories out. Because so you're, you're, you're touching and dressing bodies that of people you know. Sure, and you yeah. kind of share those memories, and I think probably that um, maybe helps me get through it. Yeah. Um, but Does it almost feel like an an intimate act of service in a way to, to, oh, get, it is to, very to, intimate. to do that for yeah, them? Yeah, it is very intimate because it's like, you know, it's like, and it's very private. I mean, in, in a sense that, you know, things that I think about are, um, and, you know, and people would find this. I'll be damned, Gertrude has an anchor tattoo. Well, on her, you know, I, but, I'm just but more like, more like, <laughs> you know, things like somebody's in a care center for a long time and, and, you know, the idea of just having, her hair done or her mm. fingernail polish done. You know, I know for many people that maybe doesn't seem like a big thing, but it, it's a kind of a respectful thing. And I know other people would say, oh, there's no value in that. And it's, it is what it is, you know? And so, um, yeah. And, and I, yeah, there is comfort in that for me. And it's even when we do a cremation or something, it's like I think the most difficult thing is many times I'll ask families to still bring clothing in, even if there isn't going to be a public visitation or something. I think the most difficult part with cremation for myself, being that I do it personally, is that that what we are used to seeing is this physical presence of a body. You know, I mean, the, you know, you're five foot eight, six foot, you know, whatever, this person's 175. But I think the hardest part for me sometimes is with cremation when we go to, you know, respectfully place the deceased into the cremation chamber or whatever. And we close the door. And two and a half, three hours later, when we go to, retrieve the cremated remains it's only bone fragments and it it's i think it's just more it's hard because all of a sudden there's somebody that physically you could relate to because right. it's a body mm -hmm. and not that you can't relate to the cremated remains but it is a different tra it's a transition you know sure. what i mean yeah it's not right or wrong it's just that that's why I think sometimes it's real important in explaining cremation so like a child understands without a lot Does of Does it affect people's grief process at all, whether they choose one or the other, the I mean, or the family's grief? I don't think so. I mean, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I think it, w it would depend on the circumstances. I think sometimes it depends how quickly it's done. I do think that, um, you know, a good example is sometime I could be sitting with a family and I'll say, you know, I'll say, well, mom's going to, we want her to be cremated and that's fine. And, you know, there's 12 grandchildren and six of them are off at college. And 
all this stuff. And, and you may make a comment now, you know, we have X amount of time before we would need to cremate. Would you, would any of the grandkids want to come in and spend some time with grandma before we did the cremation? Especially if they aren't doing it. If they're doing a visitation with the deceased present prior to, that's different. But a common a comment, the comment is, um, no, they, they. I'm sure they don't want to see grandma again. And I, it's kind of like I'll always say to somebody, you know, you might want to just call them if they're close. Give them that option because most college kids, they're old enough to make a decision if they, you know, if they need it and if they need that moment. Um, and it is interesting. It's the same way with children. I think kids are just. Um, I think as adults, we worry about protecting kids about all these things and about death and all this. But, you know, the kids are probably the most resilient as far as I'm concerned. They'll come in and they'll look at somebody and say, oh, gosh, she's got her fingernail polish. You know, they, they look at it yeah. in a totally different yeah. way. I mean, as long as it's presented correctly um, and as long as they aren't forced to do anything. Um, but kids are always, I think, probably they coolest about it and we worry the most with them about it 